Hi guys, so hopefully this will help a lot of people out there with a broken wing mirror. This is a T5.1. Fan smashed into my mirror, came flying off. It's just been taped on for the last couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, this bracket here is the one that snapped. This bit here, see it's gone there. Um, quite cheap part, six pounds off eBay. Yeah, so we're gonna have a go at fixing a new one of these on. So yeah, step one is removing this mirror. Um, literally, you just kind of get your fingers down the back um, and just kind of pick it out and just pull it. Um, don't be too rough with it, but yeah, if you just pull it gently, it'll pop out and allows you to access these torque screws here. I'm led to believe you take those off, so this part removes. Um, yeah, one sec. I'm not gonna lie, that was a fucking mission. Um, don't know if I done it back to front or whatever, but the way I got it off was <laughs> seemed pretty tricky. Um, yeah, just give it a bit of force. I think that helps at the end. I was trying to be too too delicate with it, but yeah, just rip it off. Yeah, as you can see, there's there's these um, as you can see, there's clips all the way around. Um, I used a couple of these interior tools just to kind of get in there but to be fair I think you can just you know flex it and bend it and pull it and should finally give in okay so because it's a heated mirror we just had to chop the cable because you have to feed the wire through um, has to go through this bit here so yeah it would have gone through there and in I think that hole there so to be able to feed this bit through, you have to chop that one. Luckily enough, I didn't have to cut that one because that little connector actually fitted through that hole. So that's a bit of a result. Okay, next part. <laughs> bit, I'm gonna try and do this without removing all of this. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> but you see these two torque screws, that one and that one, they're the ones that we've got to get off next. So those screws are fucking massive, the size of those bolts, or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, once I got those off, I was really confused. I was like, nothing came loose. Um, so I literally had a little play, had a wiggle. This bit, I managed to push down. So yeah, you literally, I think this stage, you just pull all of this out. But yeah, I just, you know, give it a gentle tap with a mallet and some wood or something, and it starts to move. So yeah, I should be able to, oh, there we go, uh oh. There's that crazy spring everyone talks about. Not looking forward to getting into that bit, but yeah, we'll have a go. See, so yeah, apparently you have to remove the C-clip. Again, it looks under a lot of compression, so be really careful. Um, probably put the safety goggles on for this bit, but yeah, we'll give it a, we'll give it a blast. I managed to get the, the spring off. Um, Saw a little tip actually, somebody um, mentioned putting some zip ties on it. Um, so I managed to get one on when it was actually stuck on there. Wasn't enough um, space to get another one on at that stage, so I just had the one on there. Um, these two are on just like that. Obviously the C-clip was down and obviously stuck in. So I just kind of like, leave it out with like a, just an old, what's it called? An old chisel. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of anxiety doing that. I just thought the spring was gonna come up and smash me on the bonce. Um, but actually it came out quite smoothly and it didn't pop up because, yeah, because I had one of those zip ties on. So, brilliant little tip, whoever that was. But yeah, on to the next bit. Hopefully things should um, start progressing quite quickly after this. So yeah, obviously make sure that you look at the lugs where everything is so that when we put the new one on, it's obviously everything's in the right place. Okay. Look at that, one-handed. Nice and easy that bit. <laughs> um, so the spring goes next. And that little washer. And then the C-clip needs to obviously go just under there, but a little bit of compression on that spring just to get it a bit lower. And then I can slide this on. So I thought I'd show you this bit again. Absolutely genius, this 
zip tie concept. Um, just to get the compression on the spring, just step on it with your foot and like tie it, tighten these up whilst it's all squashed down. But now, as you can see, I put that washer on and uh, the clearance is already there. You're already there. And this C, this C ring, literally, look at that. Slide it on with your fingers. Absolute genius, that. Right, so I totally recommend popping this part on. Well, I say recommend. <laughs> Gonna do it this way around because it looks easier to, to actually access these um, little holes for your nuts to go back on. So yeah, pop that in, feed that cable through. Um, this part almost didn't fit through. Um, had to give it a little bit of force just because um, of those little sticky out clip parts, lugs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so yeah, pushed it, managed to get it through eventually, but yeah, just needed a bit of force. Uh, obviously try not to damage the wires when you're doing that. But yeah, let's um, just get these three screws in. Um, yeah, this part should be quite easy, okay. Right, so I've managed to like feed this wire around here. Um, it's got some handy little um, bits that you kind of like, um, what's the word? Map it round, is that the right word? Who knows? Um, so then it kind of comes back on itself and comes back around here. This is the wire that I had to cut for the, uh, what's it called, the heated mirror. Um, this is the wire that goes through to, I'm guessing obviously, well, yeah, the connector on the end, end of there connects to all the, all the movement parts or whatever it's called. Well, it's for the movement, it's for the electric mirrors. Can't even talk, right. <laughs> So I've popped the glass back in. That was easy, literally just line it up and then just push and it pops in. Um, make sure that you feed the heated wire, um, the heated mirror wires through that little hole there. And then I need to go and solder those two bits together and then shrink wrap it or whatever it's called. And then I'll be ready to pop the outer casing back on which I'm not really looking forward to to be honest with you because that seemed to be the trickiest bit but yeah there you go I managed to solder them back together quite neatly I've taped each one individually and then just popped some tape over the top um, might put some around that bit as well actually but yeah I've remapped it around there poked this back in there so there's not as much uh, loose wires hanging around so you don't want to get it stuck on the um, on the caps that go over the top but yeah Almost done. Forgot. Um, too eager. Got the glass on too quickly. I need to pull that off because there's two screws um, to connect this this bit. Right, there we go then, guys. The finished article. I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely super chuffed with that. That was a bit of a mission job, actually.